Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips, and today, refreshed and rejuvenated from the weekend off, we're going to dive back in to the Battletech Backer Beta, and the only way I know how, which is to revisit something that has stymied me and probably be disappointed once again. Let me introduce the next episode of The Swarm. Welcome, Commander. So... For those of you that have been watching for a while, you remember that my Lance of Custom Locusts, as we go down the list here, where I've taken the Locust 1V and I have replaced all its weapons with six small lasers for maximum backstab, had worked its way up through the opponent's ranks, killing off light lances, medium lances, even heavy lances. And then we hit the proverbial roadblock. A quartet of atlases. So, we're going to go back at that. We're going to take those, those atlases on again. Hopefully it'll go a little bit better for us this time. I have made one adjustment to the plan, however. I haven't changed the mechs. The mechs are exactly as I had previously customized them. But for our purposes today, I've gone out and grabbed my four pilots. Ratchet, Barkeep, Plumber, and Bender. And they've gotten a little extra training since that last match. So we've added Sensor Lock. I've added Sensor Lock to each of their pilot skills. So now they have Evasive Move. So hopefully that will keep them more survivable. And I will not make the same mistake I made last time. That basically caused my house of cards to tumble and hopefully with sensor lock which I'm actually assuming I'm guessing I'm, I'm thinking forward I will probably only end up using sensor lock maybe once in the mission total maybe twice but it's that first move when an enemy atlas runs into my position I feel it's probably a safe and fair trade if one of my mechs gives up its turn to get a sensor lock on that atlas to clear out its evasion and movement modifier in exchange for its turn of weapon fire. Because we really need our shots to hit and that's going to be one way to help, help guarantee that. So let's get our pilots, Ratchet and Barkeep and Plumber. Bender. On the other side, we will I will set up with the awesomes. Or the not the awesomes. With the atlases. Get that going. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tinker with who's piloting those mechs. So I'm gonna take a real strong look at this list. I'm gonna take a real close look. I don't want to give arc. I don't want. To, I don't want arc light showing up because I don't want these atlases going out of any order. Although honestly, if we go at phase four and they go at phase two and one, it kind of doesn't make a difference. Um, I could throw pilots like blockade in there, who would actively be bad. I mean, it wouldn't be actively bad, but his skill would not apply because no jump jets on atlases. I'm definitely not going to put Paradise in there because I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to leverage that. So we got, got Sensor Lock. I kind of don't want the enemy team to have Sensor Lock because that seems like a real bad idea. I'm a little worried. I'm going so I'm going to put, I'm going to put Showboat and I'm going to put Blockade in here. But I'm a little worried because. If their atlases to guess decide to go punchy punchy, that could end up real poorly for me. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, Multi-target. Okay, so he's got good gunnery and yeah, we're not gonna do that. Witness has sensor lock. We don't want that. I'm running out of good choices. Uh, bulwark seems like a bad thing to have to chip through. I think I'm going to end up having to give them a couple of pilots that have some decent skills in murdering me. 
Actually, no, let's give, you know what, I'm going to throw Arclight in there, because, I, like I said, I don't think that initiative bonus is going to matter. No, nope, that's not what we want. That's absolutely not what we want. Game, why are you being like this? Wildfire. Let's see what else we got here. Could throw Apex in there, but no. Nope. Well, Precision Strike and an 8 Gunnery. That's kind of, that's rough. But then Wildfire has an 8 Gunnery, so yeah. Hmm. Actually, ignores cover and guarded. Does not ignore evasion. Precision strike does not ignore evasion. All right, so let's do this. Let's grab Apex. All right, so I have stacked this almost as much as I can. Let's stack one last thing. Now, last time I was on the stacks, and the thing, the problem that I ran into, or one of the many problems that I ran into, was that the because they're all atlases, they're all moving about the same speed. There isn't any, there isn't a lot of separation in their team for me to take advantage of. I did get the uh, the fortune, the good fortune of having one of the atlases in the previous video move forward of the team out of line of sight of the rest, and then that turned into a giant indirect LRM free for all on my team, and that was on the stacks. And I think I'm probably, I think I'm probably back on the stacks. Unless I can use some of the rolling hill terrain of Alpine or River to maybe help with the blocking line of sight. I don't know. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very good. I'm going to try the stacks again. I'm going to take a deep breath. <sighs> Cleansing. And let's get into this. Commencing deployment. Let's see if Next we can warrior. see if we can do better than last time where last time the lead element of the Atlas Lance rounded the corner wherein I tried to make a melee attack to break its evasion because it had sprinted which left my locust open to indirect LRM fire, which it then received 60 missiles via airdrop and killed it. Command interface initiated. Let's wow. see. Hey, this place seems Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. So, last time I kind of came up in this direction. I'm debating one of the atlases down into here, and then it turned into a giant fireball mostly consisting yeah. of my max exploding you? so is there a better option if we try to pick the fight down here there's more lines of sight than I think I like coming down this way um, I think I want to try and pick the fight again up here and I also want to be ready to pull a tactical retreat more readily than last time to reposition because this trying to get the first kill is going to be as I've, I've mentioned in the past getting the first kill is probably going to be the most important thing because once I've got once I've got a numbers advantage woo, look at him crash through that building once I've got a numbers advantage then Hopefully I can get the enemy team to split yeah. up a little bit. Enemy Lance taking its turn as my team of crack locusts considers how to crack open this Rubik's Cube of atlases as it were let's see so yeah what can I do you for kind of move the guy I think we can let's move up here Beat the cake. I'm gonna hold on to you for Something a second barkeep uh, let's go here okay Check cool we got company. 
What's up, Commander? Now, one of the problems that I ha another one of the problems that I had last time is that once I got, once the atlases moved to the position where I was ready to spring the trap, my locusts were slightly out of position in ways that were kind of aggravating. I'm not sure what the best way to try and fix that problem is going to be. Yeah. I do think. I want to try and get them. I want one of my locusts to show up on their sensors. I wonder if. Oh, okay. I got a blip. I saw a blip. Question is, did he see me? In which way does that mean they're gonna go? So, they are like approximately 17 miles away. So we are going to reserve and reserve. This is probably where... Hey, Ma, we got more gifts. This will be interesting if this causes a problem. Got it. Or if it'll actually play in my favor. If if causing... I don't know. It, it's going to be hard. I'm not sure if that's going to cause a problem. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah? What can I do you for? Gonna hold tight. Whatever. Standing by. I think I may have to reposition. Because these guys aren't quite. They're not gonna make it close enough in their next movement phase to matter. What's up, Commander? Let's move him over here. Let's get the team back together. Lines of sight. No lines of sight. This is good. Uh, hunker down. Okay. Yeah. Stay, stay put. No problem. Something Under. I can do. Can we creep up. It's not the greatest. I mean, the we've got this big old rock here. This big old rock is. We're gonna we're gonna hug it for all it's worth. At least until these atlases start to break apart. Okay, so reserve. Yeah, sounds good. Reserve. Good Arc light, what are you doing? Oh boy. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Let me know when you need me. So we got one mech. So this Atlas seems to have sprinted. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that was a sprint move. So I wonder if it is going to take the opportunity to sprint Something again. In which case I want it to come around the corner. I, at least, I just want to make sure that my locusts continue to keep their evasion movement modifiers up. Oh, this is tough. Okay, so there's definitely a gap forming. It's only, <laughs> it's at most a turn's worth of gap, I think. I wonder if it would be better for me to fall back at this point. What's up, Commander? And try and try and cause that gap to open up a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As long as I keep out of line of sight for the moment. Yeah? What can I do you for? Is it going to be out of line of sight? I don't know. I don't know. This is this is nerve wracking, is one term to to call it. This trying to this positioning to try and ensure that I get the jump on this guy. Yeah. Piece of cake. I 
I can do. Okay, so now. I'm going to see if I can get my sensor lock on this front mech. And then I'm going to reserve the rest of the team. No problem. Keep going right, keep going right. Shoot, I was hoping... Arclight would take more of the road there, spread their team. This is alright. Let's see if I can make something happen later. Okay. Yeah? What can I do you for? What's up, Commander? Heading out. All right, so at this point, I kind of no longer have any, you know, I don't have a lot of tall cover to my back. I could start to pull all the way back into the back 40, but that only really gives me this hill here. And I'll, there's a lot of open space here. Hmm. But this gap is widening, which is good. That's that's ideally that is ideally what I wanted. So let's see what happens if I give him another turn. Come on, cut right. Arclight is just not not behaving. Right. Come on, you. Oh, there was lines of sight here. Crap, crap, crap. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Be running. Yes. Okay. It's go time. <laughs> it's, it's go time. Let's start with taking a look at who can get rear line. Barkeep can easily get a rear line of sight. What's up, Commander? Plumber can get a rear line. Something I can do. Bender can. Bender has problems. Bender can't get a rear line of sight. Yeah? What can I do you for? Ratchet could get a rear line of sight, but he's going to end up opening himself up to a line of sight to one of the other atlases. So. Here's what we're going to do. The front two mechs are going to get this turn to fire. These two mechs are going to have to do... Alright, so... Bender, since Bender can't get behind, he can't get on side. So he'll take fire as well, or he will give fire as well. Which means I'm going to use Ratchet to position for the next turn on a regular move. Piece of cake. And then he will follow that with a sensor lock on this atlas to remove the evasion. Now these guys are going to get the first shot. They're going to get some indirect fire if they choose. Yep, and they choose. But I've got evasion up. So unless there's some bad rolls. Yeah, that came out all right. That's all right. That's all right. We're cool with that. So let's start with Bender's move. I want to make sure that he stays down out of the way of lines of sight there. So I think 
This actually might not be a bad spot. There we go. So I'm going to get no the evasion. I'm going to get the cover. And I'm going to get the attack. Which, even though it is from the side, and the numbers are real good, it's kind of the opening salvo here. God, so much armor to work through. All right. Oh, no. All right, here we go. They get their last one. And they've done the thing that... They've done something I was kind of hoping for. All right, that's good. That's all right. Take a few missiles. This is fine. They did the thing that I was hoping for, where two of the mechs actively chose to disengage by moving laterally or backward and are throwing indirect LRMs, which is going to make it harder for them to move up and close while I try and murder their friend. So, right, let's see here. What's up, Commander? Ooh, there's a line of sight there to enemy angry things. So let's just move right down on top of you here. On the move. Sweet, sweet back armor. I bet you're gonna like this. Ooh, and we didn't quite open up yeah. any armor panels, but hopefully shot number two here is going to get that opened up. I would love, 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 love to take either of the side torsos off of this mech because they are both filled with dangerous guns. Let's see what happens while I do this. Mm. Oh, those weren't cover bonuses. Those were things going internal. Cool. All right. Yeah. We have... We have the advantage. Yeah. Um, point of note, because it is a new turn, the sensor lock has dropped and the Atlas has regained its evasion modifier yeah. what can which I do is for? unfortunate S because I think that means I need to keep someone on sensor lock on him so that the rest of the team can keep working him I don't want to move him too far out of position, but I want to move him so he gets his movement, his evasion bonus. So I'm going to move him here. Piece of cake. Sensor lock on him. Make it happen. Suppress the evasion. Something I can do. All right, so now I need to What's ensure up, that Bender here can get a rear side shot off on this Atlas. I'm not getting murdered in the process, which means trying to look for some positions that work. Something I can do. This being an open line of sight from this location is just a camera, camera, behave for me. This position right here. This having a clear line of sight out to the other atlases, that is such a heartbreaking thing right now. Um, oh, I know what we can do. Yeah, what can I do you for? I'm going to have Plumber here take a step back, open up the space in front of him. No problem. After shooting through that nice clear space. You're fine. Oh, come on, that's the wrong side. Hit the other side. All right, ammo crit. That's cool. We can, we can. Sorry, dummy. Ammo crits are good. I'm willing to take ammo crits. Also, I do want to keep the... I want to keep my mechs moving anyway, so... Kind of doing this little shuffle bit here. Kind of need these guys to murder this thing. Like, now... <laughs> <laughs> Please. Right. If I don't get if I don't get out of this turn with a dead atlas, I think things are going to go very poorly for me. Although that is a great, 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 great 
Great trend. We like great trends. All right, let's pop this up and look at it. He's got 65 in the rear center. He's got 55 in the rear right. I have 120 worth of guns. Yeah. Yep. At 85% chance to hit. There is a real good chance I kill this Atlas. The there is a real, real good chance I kill this Atlas and we go up a body and we claim the moral high ground right from this moment. Come on, get it done. Yes! Yes! All right. My 80 tons of mech have taken out your 100 tons of... Oh, you've got more. That's right. All right, so we got one. Oh, hello. We need to react to this. Where is that line of sight coming from? I'm with you. Also, where did that line of sight come from? <laughs> it, it has to be through here. It has to be this Atlas spying. And the only reason I don't see the return line is that all my backs are turned. Okay, so. We killed one. Now what do we do? <laughs> it looks like these mechs... These atlases are keen on hanging back for some reason. The AI seems to want to push one forward for as a spotter so that the others can fire indirectly. You know what, game? If that's how you want to do that, I am perfectly content yeah. with what letting do you do you? that. Which means I'm going to just bugger on off to more cover and make you come to me again. What's up, Commander? Alright, how my guys doing? A little beat up. I'm not super afraid of the LRM flights as long as I can keep my as long as I can keep my evasion up. And occasionally if I can position so that I get cover. Or or even just Yeah, I wouldn't take entrenched generally. Um, I would not hunker down. Let's see. For instance, I will hunker down in this scenario because I only had to take a short move. Got my evasion. Yeah. And then we'll likewise I'm do here. Move. So I've got all my evasion back. Gotta keep, gotta keep my evasion barrier up. I will take the guarded. Alright, so what do we got? You're gonna move forward. Run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Through the crease. Through the crease. Yeah, there we go. We like that. You can stand on the body of your dead brethren. And here come the indirects. Lots of dodges. We like that. A couple of, couple of them sneak through. No big deal. No big deal. Here we are. Okay. So... Literally, 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 right back to the same position that we were at before. This time, unfortunately, we've got another mech that's closer to close. <coughs> Which means this guy is probably... Yeah, okay. There's stuff going on. This is a very similar scenario as with the first mech. The problem is, is that I don't have the advantage of the initiative order quite as meaningfully as I did the first time. I'm not going to be able to take a turn and then take another turn. They're going to get... This guy's going to get some sort of some sort of turn in here. Yeah. So let's what survey this again. Uh, barkeep can get... Barkeep can get behind. Something I can do. Plumber can... Plumber can get behind on the short line. Something I can do. Brewer... Yeah. Barkeep can you get... Okay, so barkeep can go here. What's up, Commander? Plumber and yeah. Brewer. Bender. Sorry, not Brewer. Uh, can take the short positions that all have rear arc. Yeah. And what then Ratchet. Yeah, Ratchet again is going to have to be my sensor plug. So let's move him first. 
Alright. Sensor plug one in position. Now what's up, Commander? Need to move you first. Spin you right round. Try and make this favorable. As best I can. Because if this mech comes around this way, then at least I'm front facing. If he comes through here, well that's a problem. I mean it'll be a problem across the board, and I may have to disengage and begin a running battle across the map. But that's not what's happening right now. What's happening right now is I'm going to carve the rear armor off of this atlas. Come on, you got to land those hits. Got to land those hits. I know I've got inspiration. I don't want to use it quite so quickly. On the move. I hope I did that right. Here you go, moron. Oh, buddy, buddy, you need to land these hits. Need, need, need. I can do. Capital N. Need to land these hits. Okay, good. Bender can get into position here. I spend the evasion now, or the inspiration now. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the. In I need to. I need to give myself a chance to build more inspiration for the following turn. So I'm gonna use this now on my last attack. Take the extra ten percent. Okay, crit the laser. Crit the SRM six. I think there's only one ton of ammo for the SRM six. I may be mistaken. Oh, here's where it goes bad. Oh, that's gonna land. Left leg. Oh, the entire left side. They're gonna pick on that guy now. They're not gonna pick on that guy. Uh oh, here it comes. Right torso. Mm, we're losing. Losing half a mech left and right here. Here comes the indirects. He's going to get plowed. Is he going to survive the round? He is going to survive the round. Okay. We made it through the turn with all four mechs alive. Right here. Something I can do. Don't need to worry about sensor locks this turn because this guy gave his up to make an attack and this guy likewise. Unfortunately, they're standing in forested terrain, which doesn't help. I may need to run a slight sacrifice play here. Oh, and I'm kind of really kicking myself for spending that inspiration because... I really could use it off of this move and attack because I'm going to lose some chance to hit due to standing up. What the? My mech's lumping. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, see, now we're down to 65s, which is a real bad place to be right now. If I had inspiration, I could have taken care of that. I'll make a bet. It's going so well. Come on, land some hits. Okay, critical medium laser. Scored a critical hit. Yeah. Alright, where was my other damage mech? He was all the way down here. He's not going to be able to... M he is going to be able to move to here. And somehow get a line on this guy. Okay, so... Save, put that in the pocket for now. Yeah. What can I do you for? I need to concentrate on killing this mech. I can do that from here. Piece of 
cake. God, AC twenties are so dangerous to my mechs. Okay. You like that? Huh? Uh, the cover is killing me. Right here. That's obstructed. This isn't great. Not ideal. Twenty-five percent damage reduction against range attacks. The front and the side. Oh, oh, well, well then, well then, well then. Lasers. Let's see what happens when I do this. Apparently, trees just disappear when they're behind you. Yes. All right. We are two atlases down. We have taken some damage, but we've kept our mechs evasive. We are we are keeping it together. So now, what's the play? Something I can do. Do I just do I just front side this guy to start? I mean, let's let's be. Let me be honest with myself. I am not chipping through the front of this thing's armor. There is just... If I have been reduced to that, I have made a complete and utter mistake. Because not only does that open up arms and legs and head as potential targets for more armor to get in my way, there is so much armor on the front of this thing. So, firing on its front not really an option for me. What I need right now is what I really need right now is to reposition to get my mechs repositioned to get my mechs positioned. Okay, so let's think about this for a sec. What is this front frontmost atlas going to do? It sees three locusts immediately in front of it one of which is damaged but standing in the forest if it moves forward that gives me some space to get behind it if it moves back it's probably breaking line of sight from some of my guys and that would be bad because it would make it harder for me to position on it I think the move is maybe just get down in, get down into a position. I can throw sensor lock on it, but I'm just going to lose the sensor lock at the start of the next turn. Oh, that is unfortunate. Also, I've got inspiration back already. That didn't take long. Um. Crap. I did not expect to see a line of sight here. The game wasn't predicting one for me. Well, <laughs> duck. <laughs> duck and cover, my friend. Oh, this guy's going for a punch? What a waste of your weapons. Although there's that whole just murdering my locust thing. Down here. All right, here comes the indirect fire. Oh, that is not indirect fire. That is direct fire. Get down, get down. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, boy, that could have gone so much worse. That could have gone so, so, so much worse. Okay. Okay. We ducked, we covered, and we got lucky. I'm not above taking getting lucky. We can fight for position here. Can I get him moved to a spot that gets him a shot, though? Not from here. Right here. What about if I move plumber first? If I move plumber first, move here. Please tell me that's not going to give a line of sight away. I am, I am prepared to move to this spot and be completely unsurprised when that atlas in the back now has a line of sight on me.
got my evasion. I've got his rear arc. I've got lasers. I'll make him dead. I've negated his cover. Oh, baby, baby, you need to land those hits. Come on. Your lives literally depend on it. Yeah. All right, so. Good, I can get to here. Something I can do. Which means I'll do this first. You got it. Locust moving up. Atlas in the crosshairs. Good shots, good shots. Crit the SRM-6, we like that. Fewer things to come murder me. Alright, so. I can actually go to here. That's actually, I like that. Hug this hill for all it's worth. Uh, question is where to, where to turn and stand. I think I'll just turn this way. Put, put my back to the wall. Uh, he's, he's lacking some lasers. Do I use the inspiration again? It's only four guns. I think I save it. I think I save it. I'm gonna make some Come on. Get that side torso. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, one more laser had gotten there. So close. Nice. We ducked the, we ducked the auto cannon. Take some laser fire. It's okay. We're keeping it together. Here come the, here come the indirects. Here come the bees. Dodge, dodge, dodge. You can dodge this. You can dodge this. Minor damage. Nice. Okay. We still got this. We are still in this game. Something I can do. How much behind you can I get? That's a lot of getting behind you. Uh, let's work that. All right, 85s, four shots. If even one of these lands on the left torso, he loses it. Come on, buddy. I got him. Do us a solid. Not quite. In fact, not at all. All right. Yeah. Keep the pressure on, guys. You got this. I believe. I believe in you, my scrub team. You've come from humble beginnings, but now you are on the cusp. You are on the cusp of That's victory over the biggest game. Right All right, here we go. Move, turn, aye, aye. pivot, line up shot, take the inspiration, That's it. Now it's so and we are going to burn this guy to the ground. Booyah! Three to one on kills. We got a real good shot at closing this out now. Oh boy. Oh buddy. Oh buddy. Alright. We need to not get loose though. We need to keep it tight. We need this guy to spend his turn running so that I can roll up on him on a reserve, get two turns, get two turns. So here's what we're gonna do. Something I can do. We're gonna fall back. We're gonna fall back, boys. We are gonna get this. We're gonna play it smart. Right here. Just in case, let's turn face up field. I'm on the move. Okay. Come on, yeah. plumber. Let's do one for Bender. Question is, where do I where do I need to be to make this guy run down into the pocket there? I, I, I want to try and keep my sensor traces over biased slightly to this side. Just in case I don't want him coming this way. I may I may have to dance a little bit for a turn or two to really get the best position here. Oh, he's gonna come down this crease. Oh, that's not good. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Keep dodging, baby. Keep dodging. Oh man, he literally dodged all of that. Holy moly. Alright. 
Right here. Like I said, we are we are maneuvering for position. We need to make him we need to make this last atlas come to us. Yeah. Ideally on a full move. On a full sprint. On my way. I don't like that position so much. Something I can do. I wish I could get closer to this wall. I think this will probably be okay. Mm. This is dodgy. Uh, what if we go? If we go over here, he has to come around through here. He might be able to see over the rocks here. Mm, I don't like this. I don't think there's a good spot for me to go. Because I think if I'm here, I'm slightly too left. He comes around the left side of this rock, gets a line of sight, and gets a shot off this turn. If I'm here, I'm afraid that he will come over here and get a line of sight across. You know what? I'm going to take my chances over here. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure he can walk down and around to about here and get a line. Right, come on. Come on. Take a sprint. Take a sprint. Take a sprint. That looks like a sprint. Nice. Okay. Crap. Because I was counter moving when he took his sprint, I didn't get what I wanted, which was my full turn in his phase one and then my turn again in full phase four. Crap. I think if I need if I want that to happen, I need to open up even more space. So right here. <sighs> Time to leg it. Question is where am I legging it to? I need to open up so much. I need to open up so much space that I basically get like a turn and a half's worth of his movement. And I'm running out of places to hide. this I don't like this trying to break trying to break and get like trying to do bombing runs on this guy basically but spread over the spread over the time of multiple turns ah this is rough what do I do what do I do what do I do okay so let's think about this if I choose to disengage and really just hoof it out, I may leave myself open to an attack or two before I get to cover. That could go real poorly for my team. I might get lucky. If I engage it now, I'm going to have to have one of my mechs go to sensor lock to kill that evasion on his mech. Only leaves me two mechs worth of attacks. Ratchet is already beat up. He's down a couple of guns. Here's the question. Can my other mechs get behind him? Yes to barkeep. Oh, no, it's a plumber. Crap. I can't get both of them behind. Run away. Run away is where I think I land. Um, I really need to, I need to make distance. That's the thing that I need here. I need to make as much distance as I can. This would be, a, this is, these are not bad spots. All right. Okay, I'm on it. The goal is to open up a gap. 
using this roadway seems like a good way to open up a gap. Right here. Okay. Aye, aye. In any other situation on a three-on-one, it would be like lol dunk on the enemy mech and be done but that stupid atlas yeah. has so much damage potential i cannot Go with full like i can't i have to get the jump on it i have to get the double i feel like i have to get the double turn jump on it or it just goes one two three across my remaining max So here we are, running away, trying to ensure that my opportunity is the best I can manage. So I need that guy to basically take a double, a double sprint. I need to move to a position then be able to reserve so that his so he moves I move or rather let's flip that around I move he moves then I reserve he moves again is what we want so now I need to move to a spot behind cover within two sprints of that atlas Ideally, two sprints plus a normal move of my own that allows me to get to behind him. Boy, are we really, I am really pushing, I'm really pushing this. So let's just look at this. If I'm here, if I go, if I hang out down here from where he's at, sprint one probably puts him here-ish. Sprint 2 puts him here-ish, and that might be close enough if I'm right at this corner. So, is there any way to make that a more, more of a thing? I could try for this rock, but I'm afraid that there's, there's not a lot of cover here. If I only get here, there's maybe a line of sight. I don't like that can't give up line of sight I have to be the one taking the first shots here so that's what I'm gonna do nope I'm gonna move you right oh man is this low enough to the ground right Oof. camera's not behaving for me it's this spot right here low enough to the ground and this rock that it breaks line of sight to the stuff beyond over here. Well, that's the theory we're going to test. I'm there. And we'll throw we'll throw a guard in there. I think here is likewise. It's it. a little bit further back than I'd like, but right here. get all the way down here. You know what? I'll put the pedal down. Let's see what we can do with this. I've moved, so now ideally Oh I think this hmm. I think this here caused him to move up the at the valley here instead of coming through. Ah, <sighs> mistakes, 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 mistakes. All right. Yeah. We're not out of we're not out of options yet quite. Let's move here. I'm there. There's still a chance that I could bait him up through this crease here. 
lock that down. I think that means, though, that I need to reposition these guys, or they may just get shot. Okay, I'm on it. And right here. you. I'm gonna take my chances over here. On my way. I'm a little worried that I'm a little worried about a lot of things in case it wasn't particularly clear at this point. But I'm really, really worried about that guy getting the first shot off on me. Damn! Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Also, was there indirect fire? For real? You spotting You spotting for your own indirect fire? You you jerk. Alright, here's what we got. You are beat up. You are in line of sight. We need to fix these things. One, we're going to move you back here. Aye, aye. And now we're going to use the sensor lock. And now we're going to reserve. We're going to make this... We're going to make this guy move up on us. Oh, we got to reserve a bunch. <laughs> Reserve. Reserve. Yes. Come on, hustle. That looks like a run. That looks fast like a run. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We don't quite get all of what I wanted. Yeah. But we absolutely get some of it. Absolutely getting some of it. We're going to get a bit of my turn, and then I'm going to get more of my turn. Here we go. Let's get this let's get this beat down started. Good solid hits. Opens up the side torso. Right here. Oh, we can even get some cover. This is great. I like the way this is shaping up. I'm gonna make some Got a crit on the SRM-6. This is good. Ooh, that torso is one hit away from dropping off. And here we go. So, Ratchet, baby, I need you to continue to... Actually, what do I need you to do? Let's slow, slow the roll for a second here. If I bring everybody over here, he's just going to turn right around. Um, which isn't the worst thing. If I move here, I get my move, I get some cover, he probably moves. Oh, Ratchet, am I going to use you as bait? Am I going to bait this guy? I'm going to bait this guy. I'm on the move. Listen, Ratchet, this is for the good of the Lance. This is for the glory of the swarm. Now we need to make moves and right here. keep our positions good. I like it. This I works. Got it. Get that left torso. Nice. We get the left torso. It's still got the big gun and it's still got some lasers to work with. Like so it's not do. like we're out of the woods as of yet. I mean, we're literally in the woods. Okay. And boy, howdy, do you know I'm going to use these woods for all they're worth. What do we got? 125, 75. We're not killing it this turn, so I'm not going to spend the, uh, not going to spend the inspiration quite yet. Oh, mm, mm, yes! Okay. Got a crit. Big gun is out of commission, which means this guy is down to a pair of medium lasers or physically assaulting my mechs. He's going for... Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Time out. Time out. I'm calling time out. Time out. There is a crit on this AC-20. I know that this game has a different crit system from tabletop. And that maybe this doesn't count as an actual crit that disables or destroys the weapon. But come on, man! Really? Really? All right. This is fine. 
we're not out of it yet. In, cl in fact, clearly, we're in it. We're in it to win it. This guy is not getting out of this fight intact. He's got... He has 100 damage. 100 health remaining in the two torsos from the rear. I'm going to end this ideally right now. We're going to inspire okay. this. Now the gloves are off. And we are going to wreck this last atlas and claim I victory am. and glory for the swarm. Victory! Vindication! Glory for the swarm! That is it, my friends. The swarm takes down its most hated opponent. Its largest of prey, 20 rounds, 53 minutes and 20 seconds. We lost one to the cause, but that's how the swarm rolls sometimes. Sometimes you need to sacrifice one to let the rest of the swarm live. Meanwhile, murdered, 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 murdered. I am taking this one and putting it in the trophy case because... My friends, 80 tons of mech just killed 400 tons. That's a win. That's a win you can, that you can bank on, that you can relive the highlights of, and that we can go forward into this game, into the campaign that will be Battletech, knowing that Evasion is ridiculous, and maybe you need some sensor lock sometime, and oh by the way, when you shank someone in the back with a bunch of lasers, they die. They die. Whew. That'll be all for today's Battletech in the Morning. I am the elated Captain Nips who is going to go and enjoy his day because he just killed four atlases with four locusts. Literally does not get much better than that, my friends. But that'll be all for, for now. And I will see all of you in tomorrow's video.